Welcome back to Sydney kids, welcome back to sunny Sydney and welcome to a product review. Actually, I don't normally do this, but I did read a couple of reviews of this product before I reviewed it. And well, I gotta disagree with pretty much all of them. All right, let's get into it. Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna start crying. I'm not gonna get emotional. We're all good, I'm cleaned up now. Alrighty, so what am I going on about? Well, I'm going on about the Maxxis High Road Clincher Tires. I've just gotta start with this. Like this is easily the most noticeable factor with these tires. It starts with G, it ends with P, and it is grip. These things are stuck to the road. I've never experienced anything like this in a tire. It doesn't seem to matter like what pressure I put into these tires, I just seem to be able to roll them over as far as I friggin' want. What's funny about grip is, and I definitely noticed this with the Vittorias, is you can easily kind of misinterpret that for almost like a sluggishness, like a, an added rolling resistance. Where that differs for me, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. So Bob and Head here in Sydney, it's, it's hardly a, a technical descent by any stretch of the imagination and a lot of the times it's a pedaling descent the whole way but what it does have is some really uneven surface especially in the corners and on the apex of the corners and that's really a good test of how effective that grip is because you know that's the moment where the wheel the tire are kind of bouncing off the the surface but you really want it to grip. How about some specs? Well guys, they claim weight is around 214 grams. Mine was slightly heavier, just under 220 on both of them. The width of the tires, I would put as, so these are 25s, and I would say they're slightly wider than that, probably around 26. Probably a slight bit wider than the Conti 5000 25s, but not as wide as how, the, uh, how wide the Vittorias were when I mounted them on the same rim. Now, now speaking of mounting them, oh my God, a real, real challenge. And to be honest, probably the biggest negative so far with these tires. I had to stretch these tires overnight to actually get them to go on the next day. What would be interesting is if you flattered them, especially early on, mate, I reckon you would be on the side of the road you would go through your tire levers trying to change these tires. So I can keep you updated as we go along with that. Obviously I haven't flattered yet, but as far as mounting that original time, guys, I really struggled. <laughs> 10 points if you can guess where I am. Guys, in the outset, I mentioned that I disagreed with some of the reviews that were out there, and that's specifically around the comments that they were harsh and that they were sluggish. I actually can't disagree with that more. Taking into account that I'm comparing the, the rolling and the, the feel to the GP5000s and the courses which I've been running really over the last 12 months, I have certainly not found them any different in terms of the sluggishness compared to the others. There's no independent rolling resistance data that I've seen to date. So if someone does spot any of that, please do feel free to pop it below. And harshness, well, Harshness is, it's such a shitty one if you ask me, like it, it, so much of that comes down to your tyre pressure, your inner tubes, your road surface. Yeah, sure, if you're going to pump them up to 120 psi, they're going to feel like friggin' cement. I don't, I run them at 85 and I've got to say they're pretty damn similar to everything else of those high-end stuff that I've been running. I've raced on them once, I've won one race. Probably not due to the tyres, but... You know, they're not, look, the point is, they're not holding you back if you're uh, going to put together a good ride. Alrighty kids, so we're about 800 k's in, couple of races, no flat tyres. That K2 compound seems pretty interesting to me. When you actually look at the carcass of the um, tyre itself, you can sort of see it running along there. So, so far so good, no nicks. No cuts. I've, I've been using my patented M2 shoulder, which I used in the Continental video. Check up here. That's mine. You have to pay to now use it for uh, tire reviews. 
but no nicks and cuts along there so far. 800 Ks, I'd like to expect a good bit more than that, so we'll keep you in the loop around that. Ugh, struggle with the conclusions of these tire vlogs, but I think really the most important question is, well, why would you go buy these tires? Okay, and I'll tell you why it's a tough question. We, we all have such allegiance to tires, don't we? Like you find one that's fast, doesn't flat much, it's easy to get on and off, and you literally just stick to it. Perfect example of that is Jesse Coyle. You cannot get that man off GP4000s. When I had the opportunity running the 5000s earlier on this year, he's like, no, nah, I'm sticking to the 4000s. You can keep your 5000s. Managed to get him on a set of these. Six weeks later, I asked him the question, Jesse, would you buy a set of these as your next tire? And he's like, you know what, Chris? I think I'm gonna bin the 4000s and run these. Like, there you go, Maxis. Jesse Coyle actually smiled about your set of tires and he's considering to running them for the future. Price point of these sits just in below the 5000s, a little bit more than the 4000s, a little bit less than the courses. Again, still sitting in that kind of competition, race oriented clincher tire. immediately pretty impressed with them actually to be honest so look we'll keep an eye on over the next couple of weeks guys I know uh, we've been so busy we have been absolutely up the walls the last well couple of months to be honest so much going on and we will fill you guys all in on it it's um look I know one of the big parts of doing this in the first place was to kind of give you some insight into just running bike teams and what it's really like and how it all plays out and there's a lot going on at the moment so I do want to sort of keep you guys in the loop of it and we will but don't get me wrong guys like yeah we've been super busy but let's be honest like, we've had a bit of success on the road one of the, the coolest features has been well we've, we've got an extra jersey to sort of defend in the next couple of weeks with Jay in the NRS leaders jersey coming up is Luke's favorite race of the year the tour of the great south coast it's the favorite race because he gets to spend time wearing as many jackets as he physically can wear uh, because it'll be about three degrees it'll be sideways rain there will be penguins we're promising you penguins this year confirmed eight stages in the hail it's gonna be pretty A good. Blue lake and then Antarctica. We've got it all. Alrighty, let's go.